Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of a 1950s TV show opening title that you can customize with your own text. To save time, I already created the color version of the background pattern we'll be using. I provided a link to it in the video's description so you can download it directly. To learn how to create it, go to my tutorial at Blue Lightning TV on YouTube or Facebook. We'll be using this old-style television template to place our show title into. For your convenience, I also provided the link to this image as well. Open the background pattern and click anywhere on it. Drag it up onto the tab of the television template and without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the template and release. Hide the background by clicking off its eyeball and click on the background to make it active. Call up your magic wand tool and make the tolerance 5 and check anti-alias and contiguous. Click anywhere in the inside of the black area and this will make a selection. Click back on the eyeball of the pattern to make it visible and then make the layer active. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the pattern. Click on the pattern to make it active and press Control shift u or Command shift u on a Mac to desaturate the color. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Brightness Contrast. We'll reduce the brightness to minus 80. Presently, this adjustment layer will affect all the layers beneath it in the Layers panel. However, by clicking on this Clipping Mask icon, it moves the adjustment layer to the right, which indicates that it's adjusting only the one layer beneath it. We need to invert the foreground and background colors. To do this, either click on the double curved arrow or press X. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and click on the TV pattern. Press and hold shift and drag out a circular selection but don't release shift yet. To move it, press and hold the space bar as well and now you can move it. Then release your mouse or pen. Go to select, modify and feather. We'll feather it by 23 pixels. Press alt or option plus delete to fill the selection in the layer mask with black and then move the selection to another area. Fill it with black again and continue to do this a few more times to create a kind of spotlight effect. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. Make sure your foreground color is white and the background is black. If it isn't, press D and then X. Then click on the foreground color. Make the brightness 50% and fill the layer with the 50% gray. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open your sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. We'll make the size 1, the contrast 26, and the pattern type Line. Change the Blend Mode to Overlay and the Opacity to 20%. We need to clip the scan lines so it doesn't affect the entire background. Hover your cursor between the two layers. Press Alt or Option. When you see the clipping mask icon appear, click down. Go to the pattern layer and double click it to call up its layer style window. Choose bevel and emboss. We'll make the style outer bevel and the technique chisel hard, the depth 100%, the direction up, the size 14 and soften it by 5, the angle 120 and the altitude 30, the gloss contour ring, the highlight mode screen and the opacity 75%, and the shadow is Multiply and the Opacity 75%. Click Inner Glow. The Blend Mode is Normal and the Opacity 50%. The color is Black. The Technique is Softer. The Source is Edge. Choke 0. Size 25. And the Contour is Linear. Click Outer Glow. The Blend Mode is Linear Dodge. The Opacity 27%. The color is White. The Technique is Softer spread 0 and size 100 pixels and the contour is linear. Call up your type tool and open your character panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called FontDiner.com Sparkly which you can download for free at DeFont.com. I'll choose a point size of 400 and the color is white. Type out your text and to move it, call up your Move tool, click on your text, and move it. To set your second line, call back up your Type tool and type out your text. 
Continue this process until you've set all your text. We can close the character panel now. Go to the top line of your text and click on it to make it active. Press Control or Command as you click on it again to make it into a selection. Go to the second line down and press and hold Shift and Control or Shift and Command to add the selection. Continue to add the selections of each line until you've selected all your text. With your top line still active, go to your bottom line, press Shift and click down. This highlights the layers in between. Drag them into the trash since we have their selections. Make the adjustment layer active and click on the new layer icon. This makes a layer above the adjustment layer and below the scan lines. Fill the selection with white. To make more room on our layers panel, click on the arrow next to the effects icon to collapse the effects. Click on the text layer to make it active and we'll rename it All Text. We'll make a copy of it by dragging it to the new layer icon. Notice as soon as we made the copy, the scan line layer shifted to the left and is no longer clipping. We'll correct that in a minute. For this particular font, I want to isolate the names from their stars. Press Q to make the selection into a quick mask. Call up your pencil tool and to make the brush size larger, press the right bracket key. Now brush over everything but the names. It's important not to leave any fringes from the stars or the other text. Make the quick mask back into a selection and make a new layer. I'll clip the layer, fill the selection with white and rename it Jimmy and Juliet. Delete the selection. Click on the scan lines and clip it. I'll click on the names and change the blend mode to soft light. We'll change the other two text layers to overlay. Go back to the names layer and make it active and click on the FX icon. Choose stroke. Make the size 8 pixels and click on the color box. Make the brightness 15% and close both windows. If you want your names to have a thick drop shadow that includes the stroke, we need to convert the layer into a smart object. Go to Layer, Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. You know it's a smart object because the thumbnail has a little icon in the lower right. Click on the FX icon and choose Drop Shadow. We'll make the opacity 30% the distance 20 pixels and the size 10. Go to the alt text copy and press control or command to make it into a selection. Make it a quick mask and call up your pencil tool. This time brush over just the names. Make a new layer and we'll fill the selection with white. Since white is our foreground color press alt or option plus delete. We can now trash the all text copy. Since the layer we just made is all our text without the names, I'll name this layer No J and J for No Jimmy and Juliet. Change the blend mode to overlay. Click on the FX icon. Choose Drop Shadow. We'll make the color black, the blend mode multiply, the opacity 40, the distance 10, and the size 5. The design of our TV show title is done, but now we need to make it look like it's from a broadcast of 50 or 60 years ago. Make the top layer active and make a new layer above it. Press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Scroll down to the TV shape screen and press Control or Command as you click on it. This will make it into a selection. Scroll back up and with your top layer active, press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and place it on its own layer. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on it to make it into a selection and click on the layer mask icon to make it into a layer mask. Click off the chain link. This allows us to move or effect either layer independently of the other. Click on the layer to make it active and go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur we'll blur it by 1.5 pixels. We'll add one more effect that was common back then. Since all TVs received their signals from rooftop antennas, the reception was anything but perfect. Make a copy of the layer and change the copy's opacity to 
Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. We'll make the number of generators 217, the wavelength between 1 and 225, the amplitude 1 to 2, and the scale 100%. The type is Sine and Repeat Edge Pixels. Drag the scan lines to the top. Go to the TV shape and make it into a selection. Click on the layer mask icon to make the selection into a layer mask. Have fun making your very own TV show title graphic from the early days of black and white TV. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.